and I am live. Alrighty, hello, hello, hello everyone. It is Angel Santos, course creation coach and expert here. And I'm really excited about today's topic. I didn't plan to go live on Instagram. I'm actually going to record this officially. Hello, Davida Brown Photography, how are you? Um, so I'm actually getting ready for um, to record <laughs> Uh, some videos um, but I thought uh, while I um, let my house cool down so I can do my makeup without it sweating off um, I'll just pop on live and um, and share just a few quick tips um, on one of the questions that I get asked which is how well let me say what camera should I use when I record videos or when I'm making a course, right? It's really hard um, to get started with uh, creating and selling online courses if you're not even sure where to start, what camera to use. And um, a story, so that's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you the three cameras that I recommend you use. Um, it's the ones that I use, it's ones uh, that I recommend to clients, and it's also the same cameras that are used by professionals, people making six and seven figures with online courses, probably some of your favorite uh, coaches and mentors and everyone, okay? Um, before I get into those three tips, um, I wanted to share a quick story, right, when it comes to being resourceful and making it work, because I know sometimes it can be, it can get really easy, even though we don't think we're psyching ourselves out, um, it can get really easy if you're not careful to procrastinate on jumping in with creating your course because you're finding all these excuses like you don't know where to start um, and uh, or you don't know what equipment to use. One time when I was still in my other business, my nonprofit, I needed, I was shooting this like short TV show. It was a Christian TV show about kids and we needed a place to shoot a few scenes, right? We needed kind of like a, a den, a den scene. We had a kitchen scene and uh, I live in a place, I don't live in like New York or Atlanta where, um, hi Jeff uh, Perez, how are you? I don't live in a place where there are a lot of um, recording like professional studios and places that are like budget friendly when you're making, you know, films and television independently. So what I did was I rented this, uh, well I signed up for a co-working space, okay, that had, um, that had like a kitchen and all of these different things and i went on a saturday with 13 other people uh eight of them kids under the age of 17 and um it went well we got our scenes recorded but what happened is when we were filming one of the scenes my one of my actors and they had like some lasagna on the stove some of the people there and my actors actually like cut into the lasagna to like play the role and um, needless to say I was not welcome to that space anymore so um, my whole thing that I want to share is it's okay if you get creative in the beginning right um, the most important thing is to start right decide the resources that you're going to use give yourself um a time kind of a time slot of okay i'm going to gather everything i need within two weeks or you know three weeks or whatever and then i'm going to start that's the most important thing what you don't want to do is be here six months from now still saying oh yeah you know i want to create my course so i can you know have more passive income and all this kind of stuff right Okay, so let's get into the tips. So the first one is actually when I look here, I'm just looking at my notes. Um, the first one costs you zero dollars. So you can literally start if you wanted to, you can start recording your course content today. And it is exactly what I'm using right now, your cell phone. If you have a cell phone released within the last what three to five years if you have an iPhone if you have a galaxy so many other brands that has a clear picture you can absolutely record your content for your course on your cell phone now if you would like to get an external mic some type of lapel mic to plug into your phone you absolutely can um, but you don't have to just like you can hear me fairly clearly now your students will be able to hear you fairly uh, clearly as well you can always make your first course on your phone and then upgrade after you've made some money 
the beautiful thing is you'll know more you'll know more about the process um and you've already done it right one of the biggest hurdles when it comes to making your course uh, it's not the selling it it's actually just the making it right so your cell phone is the first camera that I recommend the truth is most cell phones these days have the same um, for the most part picture quality as a lot of uh, you know cameras that they were selling for five hundred dollars or more five years ago so your cell phone is totally a great option and it costs you zero dollars because you already have it okay um and once again i'm using it right now okay so the second one which will cost you between 50 to 100 dollars, is actually a webcam so this is an example of what i am talking about um this is a web camera and <clears throat> Excuse me what it does is it uh, well they look different but they basically clamp on your laptop or they clamp onto your computer and they record you um, so the advantages of using a web camera when it comes to creating the content for your online um, course or your, your videos the advantages of is you can also use it if you're going um, live on zoom or if you have clients online um, it's very affordable with 50 to you know a hundred dollars that's that's a couple trips to Starbucks right um, and um, and it's very easy to use all you literally do is plug it into your computer most of the time there's no installation needed you literally just you know plug the USB into your computer and you're ready to go right so it's very easy to use um, the disadvantages uh, is sometimes you might need a light depending on the quality of your camera you might need a, um, a light to make sure the image isn't too dark because remember that when it comes to a lens a lens don't pick up uh, what we see the same way our eyes do right God was amazed what well, is amazing and how he created the human eye so sometimes you do need a light um, and sometimes the image quality can not look as clear as you can see me right now using my cell phone which is why it's really important to make sure you get a high quality high definition web camera um, if you want to know more about the specific models that I recommend or use I put all of those details in um, my free tech guide that's that link I think is in my bio if you want it um, but just know a high definition if you want to do the research on your own just know a high definition web camera um, that's at least 1k but honestly you you really want to go like more 4k like this is 4k um, so this is a really great one um, yeah because that resolution matters it's totally worth it to spend a little bit more right and again when I say a little bit more we're talking 70 to 120 dollars to have a crystal clear picture than to spend 40 dollars on a cheap web camera and then your image is like kind of uh, blurry and, and not crisp looking you know you don't want to charge people 100 500 a thousand dollars for a course that you're looking grainy anybody got time for that <laughs> right okay and so the last one, and thank you for those of you joining me live, um, I'm basically just sharing the three cameras you can use to um, make your course. The first one, cost zero dollars, is your cell phone, right? Just like I'm recording now, flip your phone this way and hit record. Um, so that's the first one. The second one is a, a web camera. Just make sure it's high definition and ideally 2K or 4K, right? And then the last one is uh, a bit more. So this is going to cost, and depending on which one you um, get, the only thing, well, this is where my mic goes, but this came with a mic, um, is a semi-professional video camera, okay? So this is an example of one. I'm just showing you mine, not because you have to get the exact one I have, um, but just so you get an idea of what a semi-professional camera looks like uh, some of them are larger in size um, a semi-professional camera is exactly what it, a video camera is exactly what it sounds like right so you don't want to just go to Walmart and spend five hundred dollars on a DSLR that's actually the opposite I do not recommend getting a DSLR camera for those of you who are familiar with that or if you go to like Walmart or Target 
I don't recommend that because it needs so many th other things to make it look good. I'm, I'm really just for helping people make courses the easiest way possible. All right, so these are my recommendations. Um, and also what I've seen work with a lot of other successful uh, course creators, coaches, mentors, consultants, etc. right? Um, so a semi-professional camera is going to run you about $1,000 to $5,000. I think this was $2,400 when I bought it. Um, and the difference is going to be the image quality, right? You literally just open this, you turn it on, and the quality is going to be the same as, uh, or or similar to what you see on television. When I worked in television, that's when I actually bought this camera, <laughs> right? And it's semi-professional because it's not one of those huge ones that are like, you know, 20 to 50K. This, uh, like I said, it's 20, I think it was about 2,400 when I bought it, but you can definitely find one between a thousand to $5,000. Um, if you have a budget set aside, um, if you know you're going to be using uh, courses and professional videos throughout your business and you want to go ahead and get one, go ahead. It's a great investment. As you can see, I have used this for years. I have had this for at least five years. It hasn't, thank you Jesus, given me any trouble it's very easy to use it may not look like it because it has all of those features but most of the i don't even use them right it's very easy you just open um, and press record zoom in zoom out um if you don't have a big budget or you um want to save your budget for marketing or like for someone to edit your course or something like that i would recommend for your first course that if you are going to uh, like save if, if your question kind of is like okay so I have this is my budget should I spend money on this or something else I don't actually recommend spending a lot of money on your camera when you're creating your first course right I recommend like I said using your phone or um, using a web camera and making your first couple of thousand and then reinvesting um, for one, I just like to see you create it first, right? You can always reshoot, and it's actually a great reason to relaunch your course. Like, oh, it's new and improved. I've reshot the material, and you know we've leveled it up. That gives you a that's a whole marketing campaign for you to reshoot later. I recommend um, spending it on other things in the beginning. Um, like investing in a good course software, right? Like if you're choosing between a good course software and, um, you know, a semi-professional camera, go with the course software first, get everything set up and um, sold, and then you can always upgrade to a better camera later. But like I said, if you already have your budget set aside, if you know you're going to be using it not just for your course, but for current things you're doing for clients, then absolutely it's a great investment. Um, those are the three cameras that I recommend if you are creating an online course or ready to get started with one to record your videos. If you have any questions, whether you're watching live or the replay, please let me know in the comments. And like I said, if you want to know the models of the, the specific cameras that I recommend, um, that is in my free course tech guide and the link for that is in my bio. Thank you everyone for watching and have a great evening. Bye.